Marvel Strike Force fans, it's a friend, the Fast and Comic Guy here. Today we got a new character, Yelena Bilova. So she is going. She is a hero, global skill blaster military, which is pretty cool. I already purchased one of her offers in the store, and it was a little bit. For some reason, uh, Blue Stacks likes to glitch out, but it was actually thirty-five dollars Canadian. So here we go. I'm going to quickly spend. 400k. Now, before I actually go completely into this, these are the current characters. She's brand new. Doctor Doom, he's only a few beaten uh, Dark Dimensions 4, uh, but these three characters haven't been out, out yet. Between these three new ones, I would actually say Kitty Pride was possibly going to be like the new Emma Frost. She's a huge character in the comic books, and for whatever reason, like I don't think she's really that amazing personally, you know, character-wise or anything like that from what I've read, but I think with, out of all four of these characters, she's going to be the one person that you'd want to, like, really wail out on trying to get as many stars on as possible, because, yeah, I think she's going to be basically like a Mr. Sinister meta, Emma Frost meta type of character in the game. So, let's see here. I just need to quickly spend, there we go, 400k, and let's hope that we get ourselves a good drop on this character. We will also get rid of the multiple orbs so we can see individually how things go. Where is she? Ah, here we go, the red room. All right, so we have a chance to get up to 180, but we will probably get mostly sixes, maybe the odd eight. So, first one. Like always, I, it's always a six is what I always get with these things. So, average seven. Just need 45 to unlock her. Still doing pretty bad. Will I even be able to unlock her? That's the key. Yeah, these are all pretty horrible pulls, actually. Alright, so out of those, I got 64. I won't recruit her just yet. Instead, we will go and hopefully... I'll open up these. Let's see if we can get a 4 red star on her. she is actually supposed to be. Just open this up real quick. She's got the 15% chance. No. No. I actually opened up about 60 some of these the other day and I didn't get one upgrade on any characters. They're all duplicates. I feel like I'm actually in a pretty bad seed right now. Not doing the greatest. Oh, well, we got two. Alright, so I'm going to... We will recruit her. And I definitely want to try to get her to a four. So let's see how we can do that. Now it's been a while since I've uh, made a video. I didn't end up getting a uh, long shot because I figured he probably wouldn't be that great of a character to be honest. I still don't know how he's going to do just because he's all by himself. So we got 15 of these. Let's see how we do. Oh wait, <laughs> I don't want to open up that guy yet. I want to open up these ones. There we go. Four 
four star falcon. Five star, like these are good pulls, but I already got them. <laughs> really great characters. Just not the ones I need. No, we're still. Okay, we got her at five. That's all right, five red star. I doubt I'll ever get her to a five anytime soon until she's farmable, but that's a good start. Quite happy with that, actually. So, that is that. I'm going to gear her up as much as I can, and we will see how things look after that, and we'll go over her stats and a little bit about her. Although, a little bit about her, she's a graduate from the Red Room, and she is an expert martial artist. She's in peak physical condition, and she is an expert in espionage. So, yeah, that's a little bit about her. And she had her first appearance back in 1999 in Inhumans number 5. Alright guys, so this is what I was willing to get her up to. I got her up to tier 10, and... I ran out of gear anyways for that. I did one ISO on her, and she's got 6664 abilities, and she's level 60. So that got her up with her two red stars uh, to 28,301. So her basic attack is called Widow Strike. Uh, attack primary target for 200 damage. Gain an assist from a random skill mercenary, military, or Black Widow ally. If this character or an ally has strength, 50% chance to transfer two positive effects has stealth. If this character or an ally has stealth, 50% chance to transfer two positive effects, excluding taunt from the target to self. And if you put that in there, if this character or an ally has stealth, always. So, yeah, basically it will always get rid of two uh, positive effects. <coughs> probably good against a tank, probably, like, you know, Juggernaut or whatnot. Ah, for her special, transfer one positive effect, it's called going dark, positive effect, excluding top from primary target to self and all skill military allies. Uh, attack primary target for 240% damage and apply disruption. That's really good against, uh, let's say, uh, when you're going against the Asgardians, you don't want Loki to put a stealth on a character that gets below 50% health. Gain plus one stealth on a maximum of three up to a maximum of three apply disrupt for two turns with the special gain two stealth and more damage so actually that wouldn't be a bad idea to put a t4 on that one if you want to work on this team uh, as for her ultimate uh i have no idea how to say that does vidania that's hmm. vidania Attack primary and adjacent targets for 250% damage. Clear all deflects. Now that's good in a war. That has a boost. Uh, attack. This attack has 20% extra crit chance. This attack cannot be blocked. So basically with the uh, special, you get a heck of a lot more crit chance and a little bit more damage. So that's not too bad. And the uh, passive, everyone's favorite. On offense up, gain stealth. All right. While this character has stealth, gain 50% crit damage, lower crit chance for all enemies by 10%, that's nice. Lower the chance to assist on non-attack abilities for all enemies by 25% per skill military ally, up to a maximum of 40%. Oh, interesting. And as you can see here, hmm, it's a little lackluster, 50% crit damage, that's actually all right lower crit chance by an additional 15 percent all right so she is a skilled military person so we will try her out on blitz and we'll see how things go we'll check out her animations and i'll tell you if i think she's worth it or not 
Okay, so this is the team that I kind of came up with. This is going to probably most likely be mostly your core team when they do come out. Uh, Red Guardian would probably replace uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, and I do hear they do plan on making a new Defender character, so that will kick out Punisher. And when that happens, he'll have a nice solid home here anyways. Uh, this guy here, again, he'll probably be a good solid person on the team. Uh, most people probably will not, but for the most part when it comes to this, you just need three skilled military characters, so you won't need to have to take out your Killmonger. But just for this the experiment, it's not a big deal. So these are the teams that we have. I think I'll go against an easier one. Hopefully these minions won't uh, deliver too much damage with the four here. Uh, we got a really weak tank. We got some decently strong characters there. So we'll just try it here at, at the tier 6.5. Oh. Well, I accidentally just hit the simulation button. But it was a victory anyway, so that's all right. We'll just take off the sim, and was, we wanted to see their animations. And I didn't even bother seeing what the other team was, so. But yeah, I got some interesting things to say about this uh, team. I, a skilled military team might not be the brightest team to go for, uh, just because in order for them to actually work, you do have to invest a lot in them. And wow, I really don't think I could have gone for a worse team, to be honest. <laughs> And a whole Asgardian team. Let's see what to do here. Okay, I can kill Loki first. All right, so no one will be getting their. Uh, Check out our first animation. That's ah, alright, I guess, for an animation. Didn't really do anything, nothing too special. She's probably going to die because Thor is going to do his ultimate soon. Wow, they delete. Did they actually delete? Wow. They delete a lot of my characters. That was a tier 14 Punisher, too. Alright, so she's out. Now he's going to kill her, the whole reason why I wanted to do this. There she goes. Now I might as well just auto this. Alright, so they couldn't go after kill a tier 6 blitz as guardian team. I'll try one more. Like I said, I wanted to actually see what their uh, ability, what her animations are, and that was just one animation we got to see. Was she worth the 35 bucks? Probably not. Will she be once the uh, Red Guardian's here? Probably not still. All right, so she killed Yondu. That was her kill animation.
Let's see, I want to see what her ability... Oh, darn, I was kind of hoping to almost check out her ultimate slides in there. Alright, I guess that's an interesting... Spider-Man dodges. Boy, you could be a little bit nicer to Spider-Man there, Captain Marvel. <sighs> Alright, so that is how she does, you know, Blitz. Her animations aren't too crowd-pleasing. They're not the worst. Well, they're very, very average, I'd say, actually. As for her character-wise, now, I don't think she's actually worth it. Um, the skilled military team does look like it has a lot of potential. The only downside is, in order for them to actually be viable, at all, I will show you guys. For the skilled military. So, all their abilities don't do anything until, so as you can see here, in war clear two positive effects from primary target. You have to invest a special in this character. Same here. In war, you have to Except for this part here, and more skill military allies gain some extra health. But for, I guess, I think they actually add that, because I saw a little while earlier that actually, for the most part, most of these didn't actually work like that. You had to like, put the last T4 in all of them. Let's see, does this guy have one? Yep, right here. So for Killmonger, for a special, in war, uh, you have to put it in his special, use this, the T4, or, yeah, put the T4 in there, and it's the skill military allies transfer one pot. So yeah, basically, he doesn't do anything extra for the team unless you put it into T4 as special. And this basic didn't have anything either. Punisher, I think, is actually possibly in the same thing. Although most people did put a special, the T4 in his uh, passive. Yep, right here. For his uh, ultimate, you have to put a T4 in there for a skill military thing to actually take effect. Here for a special, put a T4, again, for it to take any effect. So yeah, it looks like the only character that doesn't require it entirely is, that's an older character, is the uh, mercenary soldier. So, yeah, in order for the skill military team to work, you actually have to invest uh, quite a few uh, T4s into their abilities, just to make them actually like usable, like to get the bonus. So, do I think she's worth it? I don't know if you want to invest in a war team, they'll probably be a good either defense or offense team because it says in war, it doesn't say on war defense, on war offense. So basically they'll be a good team to have in war overall in basically either aspect. Um, is she worth 35 bucks just to unlock the two stars? Probably not. I would say you could probably skip her. Uh, I probably should have done, I didn't do the long shot earlier because it was like 100 bucks for me to unlock him, or it was 75 bucks or something like that, Canadian. Some ridiculously high amount of money. So I thought $35, I'll try her out. I was a little bit excited to try to see how she did. I'm a little bit disappointed, but I don't know, that is, I guess, you know, she's not exactly a high name character. Like I said, if you're going to wail out on a character in the future, I would say go a little bit nutty on Kitty Pride. Otherwise, the other characters, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about. Red Guardian, like I said, he's just going to be part of the new uh, war team. 
uh, so he's not going to have too many uh, things to do. He's probably, I hear he's just a better version of uh, Drax. So, yeah, those are my two cents, anyways. So, hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Hey guys, it's Ryan and Amy here. If you thought that video was fun, please hit the subscribe button on the left. Check out one of my other videos on the right. Hit a like below, leave a comment. I'm always appreciative of them. I'll try to get back to you on them. Anyways, have yourself a good day, a good night, and a good morning. Peace.